Okay, so in this video, uh, we will discuss the inverse Laplace transform. So given, oh, knowing that the Laplace transform of f of t is f of s, the inverse Laplace okay, of f of s, now that, that is written in this symbol, is the function f of t. So take note that the inverse Laplace operator is also a linear operator, so which mean which means it uh, it follows also the properties of the Laplace transform operator. So let's answer some examples here. Okay. So. We have here the inverse, okay, Laplace of 5 over 3s plus 2. Okay. You can factor out 5 here and then 3. Okay, to give you 1 over s plus 2 over 3. So, we'll take a here to be negative 2 over 3. So, note that the inverse, well, we know that the transform of a to the a t is in the form 1 over s minus a. So therefore, we'll take a to be negative 2 over 3, and then the inverse Laplace will be 5 over 3 uh, times e to the negative 2 over 3 times t. Let's have the second example. We can split. that would be the same as 2 over s squared plus 1 over s cubed and take note that t to the n will give you n factorial over s raised to n plus 1 so therefore This is 2 inverse of 1 over 1 plus 1. So your n here is 1. Okay. Plus, this is s raised to 2 plus 1. So n equals 2 here. So there should be 2 factorial here. Okay. And then, correction factor will be 1 over 2 factorial. So, we can now apply the formula. So, this is 2, 2t. And then, plus 1 half, 1 half t squared. Okay. And for the third example, okay, again, we can split this one to each of the terms in the denominator. So that gives us 4 times s over s squared. To take note that if a squared is 12, your a here is 2 times square root of 3. Okay, so this is 2 square root of 3 quantity square plus or rather minus, rather minus okay, times s squared plus 2 square root of 3. 
quantities were. So take note that the transform of cosine 80 gives us s over s squared plus a squared for sine okay that gives us um, a over s squared plus a squared so therefore therefore there should be a here to square root of 3 and then multiply by a correction factor of 1 over 2 square root of 3. So we are now ready to get the inverse of this, which is cosine function, cosine 80. Okay. And then the other one, the other term. So this one is sine. To square root of 3 multiplied by t. Okay. Let's have the next slide. Okay. So, we find the inverse transform of this. Uh, this one is not factorable. So, maybe we can... Uh, complete the square of this so s squared plus 6s so 6 divided by 2 is 3 quantity squared you get 9 9 here so 3 squared will give you 9 two. so this is now a perfect trinomial square now if you add 9 here then subtract or add negative 9 here Okay, and we have 4s plus 2 here. So this is now s plus 3 quantity squared. Okay, what what is 34 minus 9? That's 25. Positive. Positive 25. Okay. Now this will be in the form we expect this to be in the form f of s minus a so that the inverse of f of s minus a will be e to the 80 times f of t so this is the first translation theorem the, e, the laplace transform of this will give you f of s minus a and as you can see in this form that will be or oh, that will lead to f of s minus a Okay, so since we have s here, it must also be expressed in terms of s plus 3. So maybe, okay, I, I'll make it s plus 3. But the, here you have 4s, so you have 4s, 4 times 3, so we added here uh -huh, 12. 4 times 3. Ah, we added 12, so we subtract or we add minus 12 here okay minus 12 so 12 minus 12 you get 0 4 s plus 2 okay and then therefore the inverse laplace okay of 4 s plus 2 over s squared plus 6 s plus 34 Okay, will be equal to, so we try to split, okay, the denominator to the two terms here. So this is negative 10 now. So you have 4 times S plus 3 over S plus 3 quantity square plus 5 squared, okay. And here we have minus 10 times s plus 3 quantity squared plus 5 squared. So there should be a 5 here that will lead to sine function. Okay. So divide by 5 for a correction factor. 
Okay. So, uh -huh, f of s minus a, in this case, your a will be negative 3. f of s plus 3. So, s minus a. So, that, uh, that will give you a equals negative 3. So, expect that the inverse will be in the form e to the 80 and then the inverse Laplace no? of f of s. The f of your f of s here is s over s squared plus 5 squared which is cosine. No? So, we have 4 here e to the negative 3t and cosine of 5t. Okay. Now, f of s here is 5 over s squared plus 5 squared, which is sine t. So, this is minus 5. And then, uh -huh, e to the negative 3t. E to the negative 3t multiplied by sine, sine 5t. Okay. So, this is the inverse Laplace. Okay, what about this one? Okay, so th this is also, this will lead also to f of s minus a. Okay, and we try to simplify. Okay. Um, we want the denominator to be a constant here so this is s plus 2 we can add s plus 2 here and then add minus 2 okay so it's the same as s we simplify this one and then we try to split that this will give you okay 1 over, ah, sorry, this has to be 3, okay, and then minus 2 over s plus 2 quantity to the 4, so, so this will lead to, if, if, let's say, this is your 2, this is your, if this is your f of s minus, or f of s plus 2, so, A will be negative 2. Then, your F of S, okay, will be in the form 1 over S, S to the 4, okay. So, the, the uh, inverse Laplace will give you in the form T to the N, okay. So, to continue... So, this is now 3. The power here is 2 plus 1. So, where n is 2. Okay. So, s plus 2 raised to 2 plus 1. So, n factorial. So, you have 2 factorial. 2 factorial here. So, 1 over 2 factorial for a correction factor so minus 2 times so uh, if you have 4 here so n must be 3 so you have to add here 3 factorial and then multiply by a correction factor so s plus 2 raised to 3 plus 1 ok so we have 1 up here exponential so negative 2t and then t to the n so n is 2 so t squared minus uh, what is 3 factorial that's 6 so 1 third okay and e to the negative 2t and t to the n n is 3 so t cube so this is the inverse Laplace transform Now, in some cases, we can uh, use partial, uh, partial fraction, for example. Uh, 
let's say s plus 2 over s minus 1 By partial fraction, this is the same as A over S minus 1. For quadratic, you have B, S plus C here. Okay. Recall again your algebra and integra integra integral, no? integral calculus. Okay, so we have here S plus 2 is equal to a times s squared plus 1 plus b s plus c multiplied by s minus 1 okay so uh -huh, we have here for s squared that's the highest we, ha we don't have s squared here so 0 equate Equate the coefficients of similar terms. So, I have A here. Uh, this will give you B S squared, so plus B. Okay. So, I so we get here A equals negative B. And then, for the linear term, S, we have 1, 1 here equals uh -huh, B minus B S. So, minus B plus C S. So, plus C. CS minus B so minus B plus C uh -huh, for S okay mm. and then for the constant okay I have here 2 is equal to uh -huh, A A here A times 1 tapos minus C C minus uh, C times negative 1 okay so uh I can add the 2 here so that will give us 3 ok 3 is equal to oh, this will be 0 a a minus b a minus b ok so from from the first equation substitute here so 3 this is negative b minus b that gives you b equals negative 3 halves ok yeah. negative 3 halves negative ok and then what is your a therefore therefore a must be so negative so 3 halves and then what will be our c C is this one transpose so 3 halves minus 2 ok 3 over 2 minus ok 2 so negative 1 half Okay, and so this is now uh, inverse of this is e to the e to the t, no? where a is 3 halves, so 3 halves e raised to t, so this is exponential where a is equal to 1, and then you can split this one, your b, uh, sorry, so your b is negative 3 over 2, Okay, uh, this is cosine function, cosine t, and then this is negative one half sine sine t. Okay, 